Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Pastor. Delta State, are you there? Outpouring of miracle tonight. Great, great salvation tonight. Possibilities in your life. No tears again. No sorrow again. Christ has come for you. And you come to Christ. And as he comes, and you come, and you get together, explosion of miracle in your life. It's been a wonderful time in Delta State. It's been a great, great gospel global crusade. Your response has been wonderful. And God's goodness upon you has been wonderful. One thing I take away from here in this VGCK, I'm taking it to every other place that rain never stops miracle. Delta stage, you have proved rain, sunshine, outpouring, whatever, it only increases your faith. Thank you very much. You've been a good, good congregation. That's amen. I'll come back to Delta City to hear your amen. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour. Your people have been receptive. Your people have been believing and you have been faithful to your word. Souls have been saved. Believers have been revived. The sick have been healed. Lord, I pray tonight will be an addition of everything we have got. Multiplication of everything we have got. And I pray, Lord, tonight open the windows and the doors of heaven. Shower it again. Bring it again. Saturate every life with your miracle power. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Another melodious amen. God bless you. You can see that tonight as we come to the final day of this GCK. August 2024. We've been talking on the possibilities of faith in Christ. And tonight we end with the message the free, fresh, full possibilities of faith in Christ. We're looking at Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou Canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth as you believe. Since you believe, when you believe, for whatsoever reason you are believing, all things will be possible in your life. By looking at Mark 10, verse 27, it says, And Jesus looking upon them says with men it is impossible but not with God for with God all things are possible all things for all people at all times and here tonight and online everywhere with God all things are possible uh, there's one thing you need to do with the dictionary in your heart. You know, there's dictionary at home, dictionary, online dictionary, but there's a dictionary in your heart. Whenever you're, not when you're writing exam or when you're studying, but when you think of life, there's a dictionary 
That is impossible. That can't be done. I cannot have that. I'm not uh, born in a place where I can have everything. Uh, and I live from hand to mouth. That dictionary in your mind, in your heart. That's one thing you do tonight. You cancel impossibility. Because now, in the dictionary of your heart, in the dictionary of your language, in the dictionary of your belief, now, with God, all things are possible. Tonight, as you cancel that word, impossibility, healing is for you tonight. Salvation for you tonight. Freedom for you tonight. Every chain in your heart, in your mind, on your legs, on your hand, on your brain, all the chains are taken away tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, look at Mark chapter 11. Have you seen chapter 9, chapter 10, now chapter 11, 9, 10, 11. In uh, Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 21, and Peter calling, to remembrance says unto him, Master, behold the tree, the fig tree, which thou cost, uh, which thou cost, that was the, uh, in the day before, is withered away. Let me explain. Uh, when we were very young, I went to the farm a lot. Saturday, uh, you know, when there was uh, no school, I went to the farm. I, I saw when daddy will cut down the tree, and the tree falls, all the leaves appear fresh. All the fruits, they appear fresh. It appears that we've not even done anything. It looks as if all the things we, we saw before the tree was cut now everything was still like that but the second day or the following week when we came all the leaves dry up all the branches dry, dry up what am i saying jesus spoke the word the previous day that word cut down that tree but it appeared fresh and when they came back the following day peter said look at this everything dried up i said everything dried up the word is the sword of the spirit the word is that sword that cuts down the tree of sickness from your life the word is that sword that cuts up the tree of disease in your life, of demon torment in your life, of demon possession in your life. When that word, the sword, when it cuts it down, as you look at it, that minute it might still appear fresh, might appear it's still there, but it's cut down. Your sickness is cut down. Yeah. You might still be feeling as if anything happened, something has happened. Because the sword, the word, has cut down that tree. By the time you get up, by the time you check up, by the time you take a step, miracle. Fresh miracle. Good miracle. That's what you are looking at tonight in verse 22. Jesus and, and Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God tonight. Have faith in God tomorrow. Have faith in God. Every day of your life, have faith in God. Every tree that God has not planted, have faith in God. Every tree will be cut down. Look at verse 23. In verse 23, because for verily I say unto you that whatsoever ye shall say, and if you say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things which thou sayest 
come shall come to pass ye shall have ye shall have ye shall have whatsoever you say and tonight you say sickness get out of me here done see get out i don't want you anymore done savior lord come in done tonight whatsoever you say will be done here tonight you carry miracle go back home so i'm inviting you my son my daughter my brother my sister papa mama carry go miracle carry go healing say it now forgiveness and the joy of the lord it is just tonight look at verse 24 in verse 24 it says therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them tonight I have tonight I have tonight you have why because of faith I'm talking on the free fresh and full possibilities of faith in Christ that word faith look at it F foundation of freedom and fullness faith is the foundation is the fountain is the source is the reason why he gives us freedom freedom from sin freedom from sickness freedom from satanic affliction and he gives us the fullness of the blessing of God that's what you have tonight a in that faith is assurance of acceptance after asking i ask and i have the assurance that assurance that's faith and it is the faith you have the assurance you have that you are accepted whosoever shall come unto him he will in no wise reject a assurance of acceptance after asking i imputation and impartation because of intercession by his intercession is praying for you you are not the only one praying you are praying and he is praying for you amen uh, you know sometimes you pray and it appears your prayer is zero you don't feel what you like to feel you don't feel as energetic as fervent as you wanted to feel and you say look at my prayer my prayer is zero but who is praying for you now i said who is praying for you his prayer stands like one and your prayer if you say your prayer is zero put that zero beside his prayer one when you have one and then zero what's that if two people if two people are praying you don't feel like you like to feel like jumping like running you don't feel like you know there's inner strength okay two of you you agree together in prayer his prayer looks like zero the other fellow his prayer looks like zero and jesus joins his own intercession and you put one one zero zero what's that a hundred percent your prayer answer tonight and then t t talks about our trust trust is faith I trust in him I lean on him I depend on him trust his truth for transformation and that is how faith works because faith trusts him and you lean on him every bad thing in your life it will turn to good 
no more sinfulness and no more waywardness because faith is trust in his truth that brings transformation age healing and holiness by his help help has come for you i said help has come for you once you understand this is faith and this is what it does you will be rejoicing for the rest of your life look at f there f we're looking at f and it's the it's the foundation of freedom and fullness look at john chapter h i'm reading from verse 30. verse 30 it says as he speak these words many believed on him as you are hearing the word of god and say i believe i believe as you are hearing the word of god i trust him he will do what he has said he will do as he spake he didn't even wait while he was still speaking he was saying i believe my sins will be forgiven he is the forgiver i believe my soul will be saved he is the savior i believe my body will be healed because he is the healer as i speak these words many believed on him look at verse chapter one in verse chapter one then said jesus unto those jews which believed on him if he continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed if you believe you keep on believing keep on believing you'll be a disciple of christ a follower of christ you will be a beneficiary you will benefit from what christ has come to do your benefit in his favor in his mercy in his grace you benefit in the forgiveness and the freedom that he has brought if ye believe they have believed already and they keep on believing keep on believing keep on believing then it says in verse 32 in verse 32 it says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free am i free tonight are you free tonight when you are free your chains are broken when you are free all the things that tied you tied you to the past what's in the past what's coming from the past guilt condemnation when somebody is not free is tied by the pole at the pole at that pole that's the remembrance of every sin you have committed every lie you have told every evil you have done every wickedness you have demonstrated you are tied to the past you are tied to the pole but christ comes it comes to break what ties you the rope the chain the shackle the fetters that tied you to the past and now i am free and now you are free christ is the only one you trust him and believe in him and all the things that tied you to past condemnation and to the past uh, kind of punishment everything is now broken and i'm looking at you now you're free look at verse 36 in verse 36 it says if the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed shout a good amen there is the freedom there is the fullness in ephesians chapter 3 and we're looking at verse 17 it says that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love verse 18 in verse 18 it says may 
the evil inability is taken away from you I said inability is taken away from you now that she may be able to comprehend with all saints what is that of the, the breadth and the length and the depth and the height of what verse 19 it says and to know the love of Christ which passeth understanding that ye might be tell me filled your field tonight no emptiness in your life anymore and it says you are filled with all the fullness of God how does that come faith in Christ at the foundation now makes you to be filled with all the fullness of God. Now verse 20 says, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. It says according to the power that worketh in us in you now when you have tumor and the doctor wants to take the tumor away where does it work where does the doctor operate in you i said in you and christ comes tonight the power that melts tumors away will work inside you the power that melts fibroid away will work in you. The power that gets that cancer extracted neatly away, that power will work in you. Inside your bone, inside your joints, there are some ligaments or, you know, whatever uh, people call it, it's steel. And the hand is just like that. I say, stretch out your hand. Pastor, the thing is stiff. That stiffness, the power of Christ will walk inside there tonight. Yeah. And when I say, stretch out that hand, you stretch it out because now the power of Christ will walk in you. And you have, number one, you have freedom. Number two, you have the fullness i have the fullness tonight second timothy chapter 2 reading from verse 19 it says nevertheless the foundation of god standeth sure the foundation of god standeth sure having the seal that anyone that names the name of the Lord will depart from iniquity. That's the foundation when you have faith in the Lord. Believe ye the gospel. Believe ye the good news. And he says, repent, and then you believe. And with that repentance, that's the foundation and the faith. Tonight, freedom for you. Tonight, fullness for you. Faith begins with that F. And faith is the foundation of everything we have, everything we get from the Lord. The next word, the next letter there is A in faith. And it is assurance of acceptance after asking. Hey, you see that as faith? And it says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, ask. That's what it says. And it shall be given you. Amen. See, and ye shall find. Amen. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. Look at this word. Ask begins with A. Seek, S. Knock, K. A, S, K. What's that? Ask is telling us all you need to do tonight, all I need to do on your behalf is ask, it will be given. It's seek, 
and you will find it's knock at the door of the mercy of God and the door will be open and when we ask and seek and knock everything comes back to ask praise the Lord tonight there is assurance of acceptance after asking look at verse 8 in verse 8 it says for everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be opened the door is open for you today and as the door of heaven is open for you miracles will come down the door of heaven does not send sickness it sends healing the door of heaven does not send punishment door of heaven it sends deliverance and total freedom from that infirmity and from that guilt and from that condemnation that you have the doors of heaven will open for you tonight hey, look at verse 11 in verse 11 it says if thou then if ye then being evil i mean the descendants of adam and eve no how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father your father which is in heaven give good things give good things what's he going to give you tonight salvation that's a good thing healing that's a good thing deliverance that's a good thing freedom that is a good thing meeting all your needs providing for you pro uh, prosperity that's a good thing and tonight in the night you have i have you are having jesus john chapter 14 verse 13 in john chapter 14 verse 13 and whatsoever ye shall ask remember assurance of acceptance after asking whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do will he do it tonight yeah. on my right hand side there you are asking once you open your mouth the blessing will come upon you here in my front once you declare lord look at me here on the wheelchair i want to rise immediately you will rise on that side lord i'm blind and somebody has to you know point this to me i have to be led and once you say lord i ask open my eyes immediately those blind eyes will open Forgiveness, you carry a heavy load like a heavy stone on your heart. The guilt, the condemnation. I feel guilty everywhere. That's why I cannot smile. I cannot be, you know, happy because of the load of guilt and condemnation I have. And you say, Lord, forgive me and set me free. The moment you ask, forgiveness will come from heaven because whatsoever whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son look at verse 14 in verse 14 if ye shall ask that's it that's all we do if ye shall ask anything in my name I will do it I will do it that is what gives us assurance of acceptance he accepts your plea he accepts your person he accepts your petition and he says just ask and whatsoever you're asking he will do it that gives us assurance and that gives us what we are asking for in first john chapter 5 verse 14 first john 5 verse 14 and this is the confidence that we have in him this is the assurance that we have in him that if 
we ask anything healing salvation freedom forgiveness conquering power victory if he has anything that he says according to his will what's his will your happiness was his will your forgiveness was his will your healing and as we ask according to his will he hears us look at verse 15 in verse 15 and if we know that's assurance that's assurance we have assurance of acceptance after asking he says and if you know that he hear us whatsoever we ask whatsoever we ask there's no limitation all the needs of your soul all the needs of your heart all the needs of your body all the needs of your family if we ask whatsoever we ask we have because the petition that we desired is given unto us. F is the foundation. Faith is that foundation. A is the acceptance, the assurance of acceptance as we ask. I in that word faith, I. I is imputation and impartation by his intercession you know he, he just he didn't just say okay that the provision that the healing that the freedom and that is the total uh, fullness of what i have for you he went to heaven and he's making intercession and he's saying father i died for him so you can have forgiveness while you are praying here he is also praying interceding for you i died for that sick one it just you know middle age and father i don't want him to die now and thank god you will not die now yeah. and even if you are beyond 70 75 and you say i still have some things to do my eyes are now open i need to do this i need to do this that has not been done and you say lord can you give me more years i says yes i can yes i can and jesus is praying for you and jesus says give him 15 more years congratulations I say congratulations. <laughs> Satan thought your time is up. And so he brought the infirmity, the sickness, the cancer. Because, you know, Satan is not interested in vision, in dream. Satan is not interested in success. All he's interested in, let him suffer, let him die. And while you're suffering sickness, say, Jesus, I don't want to die now. I want to do that. And Jesus, who gave that vision, who gave that dream, is interested. He said, Father, can we give him 15 more years? How about 20? And the father said, the father always says yes to Jesus. On your behalf, he has said yes. Yeah. And because of that yes, there is imputation and impartation because of his intercession. Look at this in Romans chapter 4. And I'm reading from verse 19. It says, and not be weak in faith is the faith that brings the imputation is the faith that brings the impartation it says he considered not his own body now dead that dead body will come alive those dead nerves will come alive and the dead sin in your body everything will come alive in jesus name now now if you have good feet alive and active and walking but you have dead nerves in your eyes and at the back you have what is called macula and because of the dead nerves and the retina everything that is not seen well there your leg although your legs are all right your hands all right your heart even all right 
that other dead part will be slowing you down slowing you down but today every dead area of your life of your body everything comes alive tonight in jesus name you can see that not his body now dead and then it says when he was about a hundred years old and it says neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb you understand in that family dead plus deadness the husband's body Abraham dead Sarah's womb dead dead deadness of the body double death there'll be divine power that will make the double deadness wash it away from your body tonight <laughs> then when you get home you see my wife everything came alive in my body today I am healed and then madame sister mother will say you say so me too the deadness in my limb the deadness in my joint in my knee it also went away husband and wife will receive miracle yeah. son daughter together you receive miracle yeah. brother junior sister you receive miracle as he gets it, you get it. Yeah. And then they say, as you are healed, you, you know my language, I don't say if you are healed, I say, as you are healed. Say amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Come out here on our side here so that our leaders can interview you. Husband, as you are coming, as you look back like that, your wife is also coming for testimony. Because your body will come alive. <laughs> and then he tells us in verse 20, in verse 20, it says, He staggered not at the promise of God through belief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Husband and wife giving glory to God. Son and daughter giving glory to God. Brother and sister giving glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Verse 21 in verse 21 I'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised it was also able to perform verse 22 in verse 22 therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness the faith the faith imputed to him for righteousness when it's imputed you what you didn't have before you will have forgiveness you will have freedom you will have imputed it is to your account tonight and you get the alert when we say the final amen but already it's imputed it's in your account forgiveness already in your account freedom already in your account salvation already in your account healing already in your account and miracle already in your account and when we stand up and we say in jesus name and all this crowd they say amen for you that large will come <laughs> look at my waist it was a pain in me a lot comes and there is no uh, there is no pain my brain, if I try to walk, my eyes will be turning and turning like this. And once we say, in Jesus' name, the alert will come. And that alert of amen, your brain will cool down. Because it is imputed and also imparted. Look at verse 23. It says, now, it was not reaching for his sake alone that 
each was imputed unto him look at verse 24 in verse 24 it says but for us also for me also say for me also brother sister father mother for us also the preacher and the people sitting there connected together by faith imputed for us also for us also what i believe here you believe there what i send out from here you receive each over there the power the strength the authority that gives us that salvation that freedom imputed unto us also it says for us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up jesus our lord from the dead his death brings life unto you a sacrifice brings salvation unto you his agony brings the acceptance unto you and tonight as you believe and you accept righteousness will be imputed unto you righteousness will come into your account and then you'll get the alert there'll be peace of mind there'll be joy of salvation there'll be victory and triumph over every bad sin every evil sin that ever came in your life look at romans chapter uh, chapter one i'm reading from verse 11. romans chapter one verse 11 it says for i long i desire i'm passionate i'm dreaming i long to see you that i may impart unto you impart unto you and if paul the apostle was so eager was so passionate and was longing to impart unto them i about christ as savior i about christ our lord i about christ that all in all he imputes righteousness unto us he imparts strength and healing a miracle unto every one of us and then it says to impart some spiritual gift to the end ye may be established imputation impartation because of his intercession that is going to establish you in strength hebrews chapter 7 reading from verse 25 hebrews 7 verse 25 wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto god by him seeing he ever 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 liveth to make intercession for them to make intercession for them ever liveth every time as we've been here on this crusade field god christ they have attention on you he knows what you are hearing he knows what you desire and christ ever liveth making intercession for you that's why you are going to have tonight imputation righteousness redemption will come into your account impartation of healing of strength a power impartation will come upon your life yeah. amen yeah. she is for trust trust is truth for transformation and that's faith that's how we get the transformation you trust him when you trust somebody he says i'll be with you at this time that's why you are waiting and 
when that time comes, your ears are open and you have a knock at the door. He has come, he has come. Because I trust him. What he said, he will do. He has done. And that's what we have in Christ. He says, I will come and heal him. I trust him. He cannot fail. He said, yes, I will. I will heal him. I trust him. That's the faith in the trust, in the truth for transformation. For transformation. If you want the healing, the healing will come. If you want the deliverance, the deliverance will come. You see, it's not everybody that wants <clears throat> the healing. God bless you. Double. Something, you know, I heard of a preacher. This actually happened. Actually happened. And many people were getting healed, getting healed, and getting healed. And this uh, preacher, I could even tell you the name. I knew him very well. And we even, you know, sat on the same table and we shared notes together. Mighty man of God. And many people were getting healed and getting healed. And this fellow at, I think it was, um, you know, leg problem and was on the wheelchair. And the minister, when everybody was giving testimony, the minister went to him and said, can I lay hands on you? You will get well. The man said, no, no, no. I don't want healing. Uh, you think, how is it that he didn't want healing? I don't, don't lay hands on me. I don't want to get up from the wheelchair. Why? Because in that country, when they are lame or paralyzed, they have an advantage they collect regular money from their government because they are impaired the blind they collect regular money because their government makes that kind of provision because they are sick because they are down they give them all those monetary advantages and if the preacher prayed for that man and he got well, he will lose what he had been gaining from that paralysis. That's why he said, I keep my paralysis so I can keep on getting the money from the government. But here in Nigeria, does the government pay you for being on the wheelchair? Because you are blind and you couldn't see the chalkboard and when they are teaching, uh, does the government give you a certificate because you are blind and you couldn't see? Here, if you don't work, you don't eat. Over there, if you don't work, you have allowance. There's no allowance here. That's why when that healing comes tonight, you grab it. And I am going to pray for you. Like that, my friend minister overseas, like he prayed for the people, I know you want healing. You want deliverance. You are not holding on to your sickness because you want an advantage from that sickness. You want government pay. The system does not work here. Everyone here wants healing. I said everyone here wants healing. Yeah. Uh, you want to, you know, look at me and, you know, I stand, I walk. You want to have what I have. Yeah. The imputation I have, the impartation I have, like Father like son like mother like daughter I pass it on to you healing deliverance 
your trust in his truth for transformation hey look at the word of god it tells us in hebrews chapter 2 and i'm reading from verse 13 and again i will put my trust in him and again behold i am the children which god has given me i am the children christ the health he has all his disciples all his followers all his children will have in jesus name look at verse 14 in verse 14 it says for as much then and the, and the children that the children are partakers of flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same that of the same so that through death the death he died on the cross he might deliver he might deliver destroy him that had the power of death and then it says that is the devil the power of the devil broken out of your life in jesus name look at verse 15 in verse 15 and deliver them all of them and deliver me and deliver me and deliver you who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage no bondage anymore yeah. look at romans chapter 12 verse 2 in romans chapter 12 verse 2 trust is truth for transformation it says in romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed transform transform by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable perfect will of God the perfect will of God is that you are saved you are sound you are strong it will happen in Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 who has delivered us that us but me who has who has delivered me somebody is in the prison and somebody outside a relative had compassion had mercy and the they were walking and walking on his deliverance and he he was you know in the in the prison when he was out he didn't have any job to do he didn't have any food to eat even the clothes he was wearing has been on and on for a long time and now he was in the prison and the people who are running around and making sure that they get him out of the prison they went to call the sexual everything is now delivered from the prison they take that paper in the hand and they go to the prison and they say French you're free look at paper you are delivered he said hold on why did you take all that trouble over here I'm eating free fruit over here i have a bed to lie on over here i have the clothes to wear you people you want to take that paper hold on let me think about it i say tonight you are delivered out of the prison are you telling me pastor hold on i want to think about it there's nothing to think about today you are translated out of that prison in Jesus name Amen. Satan 
imprisoned you with guilt, with condemnation. Satan imprisoned you with infirmity and sickness. And now God looked at your case and Christ, our advocate, our lawyer, he pleaded for your case. And now he has sent your deliverance. He has sent your liberty certificate. And he says, I shall come and give it to you. That you are delivered. That you are set free. And I bring it to you. And you say, Pastor, I understand. Thank you very much. Let me think about it. Like Pharaoh, Moses said, all these frogs troubling you, tormenting you in your chambers, on your bed, in the kitchen, everywhere. Moses said, when do you want me to pray that all these frogs will leave you? And Pharaoh said, tomorrow. Tomorrow. When do you want your own deliverance? We will not be like Pharaoh. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son into the kingdom of his dear son you are taken away from the kingdom of darkness and you come you are translated into the kingdom of Christ tonight amen we're coming to H. H is health and holiness through his help. Healing through his help. Holiness through his help. It will happen. Yes. To you today, healing has now come. Yes. Look at Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 38. And he arose out of the synagogue and he entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever and they besought him for her. Look at verse 39. In verse 39, and he stood over her and rebuked the fever. Hold on. Rebuked the fever. Now, look at a table. If you stand by that table and say, table, I rebuke you. Get out of there. Does the table have ears to hear? The table will remain there. You go to another place and they put a you know, walking stick there. And somebody is holding to that walking stick. And you say, stick, I rebuke you. Get out from there. Will the walking stick bulge? Tell me now. No. But the voice of Jesus is heard by fever. Fever. There's a spirit behind that fever. And when Jesus comes and he says fever, I rebuke you. That fever can hear. The table may not hear. The chair may not hear. And the walking stick may not hear. But when Christ when he challenges that fever and he stood over her and rebuked the fever. Uh, you know, uh, when you know, somebody has cancer and Christ rebukes that cancer, cancer will hear the rebuke of Christ. Amen. When somebody has ulcer, now, you know, you may not be able to speak to ulcer. All you do, you take much milk, you take much water, you take, you know, whatever, that white teeth thing, swallow it, swallow it. And then you have a little relief because you cannot speak to that ulcer. But Jesus speaks to fever 
and it speaks to cancer and it speaks to ulcer and they all hear his voice he speaks to the ocean he speaks to the stormy sea now we can we don't go and speak to the river we don't go and speak to the ocean but jesus is different when he speaks to the ocean the ocean will be calm in jesus name your brain is hot almost bringing out hot hot vapor and the scene is running here and there uh, you know we, we don't speak to those cells or neutrons but christ speaks to that brain it will calm down and cool down immediately there's a uh, swelling there and uh, you know you rub it you press it but you don't speak to it but christ 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 jesus he speaks to that swelling the swelling will hear the voice of christ that thing will go out from there yeah. amen yeah. when somebody has bad habits uh, you know the habit is there you slap yourself you roll on the ground you do this and that you don't speak to that bad habit but jesus is different he speaks to the bad habit in your life but habit will flee away they all hear the voice of the son of god and so he stood over her and rebuked the fever and each left her and immediately she arose and ministered unto them look at verse 40 verse 40 in verse 40 it says now when the sun was setting it says all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him and he laid his hands on everyone and every one of them and healed them and healed them and healed them, and healed them. And healed them. Uh, you know, even people ordinarily, when something uh, happens that they know a man has not done that, a woman has not done that, they say that the, that the hand of God. It's invisible, but they know that is the hand of God. And the hand of Christ where you are tonight, invisible, you will know by the healing you will know by the holiness you will know by the change and transformation of your life this is the hand of christ that hand will touch you tonight that hand will remove your guilt and condemnation that hand will bring peace in your heart in your life tonight it is the hand of christ he laid hands on them and they were healed i am healed i am strong i said i am strong everything the health the holiness they all come by his help hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 hebrews chapter 4 we're reading from verse 16 you have help right now it says let us therefore come boldly assuredly let us all come earnestly let us come unto him boldly let's come unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and look at that mercy for you tonight mercy for you today it says we come that we may obtain mercy and find grace and find salvation 
and find forgiveness and find freedom and find healing and find soundness soundness of body and let us come so that we can find grace and healing and forgiveness and it says grace to help in the time of need in the time of need you are finding help right now forgiveness right now salvation right now freedom from those bad evil sinful habits right now in jesus name i will find i will find help say it aloud i will find help it has come it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed you want to have the foundation of the fullness of God by faith just raise up your hand you want to find assurance of acceptance as we ask just raise up your hand. You want to find that imputation, impartation by his intercession. Raise up your hand. You are trusting the Lord now. You are trusting his truth and truthfulness for transformation of life. Raise up your hand. You want to find that healing, that holiness, that new life through his help. Just raise up your hand. It's the final day and this is your day. And this is your privilege and opportunity. Raise up that hand. God bless you there. God has blessed you already. If you are raising up your hand, since you are raising up your hand, just stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up and stand up for Jesus. Stand up for his salvation. Stand up for his freedom. Stand up for his redemption. You are raising up your hand anywhere. At the Alpha location, here online, on the radio, on, on the television. You are raising up your hand so you can have uh, this imputation, impartation of the forgiveness and the freedom in your heart, in your life. And then when we say the final amen, you have the alert. Peace has come. Salvation has come. Stand up there. As you are standing up here, there, tell the Lord, I come to you. From my shame, I come. From my sorrow of heart, I come. From my sinfulness, I come. From the degradation of the things I've done, Lord, I come. I come to thee. Whosoever cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast off. He has accepted you. That's faith, assurance of acceptance because we ask i'm praying for you now and you are prayed to and remember jesus is also praying for you he is the intercessor when you join your weak prayer zero prayer to him that has integrity and that integral one you join zero to that that becomes 10, that becomes 100, that becomes 1,000 because we trust him. We trust his intercession. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name that everyone that comes to Christ tonight, you receive them, you accept them, and you give them your forgiveness, your freedom, your salvation. In Jesus' name, save them, Lord, and give them the assurance, their request for salvation and freedom has now been granted them. No more guilt, no more condemnation, no more evil habit. Now they are in Christ, they are new creatures in Christ. Confirm the salvation in every heart. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Another good, good, assuring amen. It is done. I can't sell us are there. 
our officiating minister tonight will come and lead us in this counseling time after that we'll come back and you are going to have all the miracle you desire in Jesus name put your hands together the greatest miracle has taken place already so keep on standing if you gave your life to Christ keep on standing our counselors are by your side and as you keep on standing if there is no counselor close to you just give a signal to them, they will come around and they will be getting your particulars so that they will use it to help you and so supply all that they will ask you to supply to them. Counselors, please write legibly, write in capital letters all that is needed on the forms with you. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link just below your player. Click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. And if it is difficult to click on that link, you can feed in gckhq.org forward slash connect. gckhq.org forward slash connect. It will take you to a form, then you will fill that form to assist us to help you further. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television, and you just gave your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number I'll be reading out now. Plus 234 Six three. Once again, the number is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. And all those who have given their lives to Christ tonight, there will be a believer's banquet for you on the 1st of September. That's this coming week, Sunday. This week, Sunday. In all the locations where we are, by 3 p.m., so contact the people around in your crusade center to know where the venue for your banquet. But for those here in the Alpha location, that's in worry here, the banquet will be taking place at the Deeper Life Headquarters Church, Deco Road, Worry, by 3 p.m. 
on Sunday, 1st of September, 2024. So, the people that invited you to the crusade will bring you to this place. So please connect with them for that. While we are getting the particulars of those who have given their lives to Christ, the rest of us should be in the mood of prayer because tonight the pastor is going to pray for us. And that thing you have been looking for, waiting for, expecting, you will get tonight in Jesus' name. And so let's be looking up to the Lord, be in the mood of prayer, calling upon the Lord, presenting your requests. Don't forget, ask, seek, knock. That asking will receive answer. That seeking will you will find. That knocking the door so your expectation will be opened. So please, counselors, let's hasten up. Just reach out to everywhere where we have those who gave their lives to Christ. And as soon as you finish your own area, please give me the signal so we know that you are true. Once again, we want to remind our radio audience, television audience, you just gave your life to Christ. Send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus 234-9154-449263. The convener of the GCK will be glad you did. So keep on calling upon the Lord, expecting the Lord to help you tonight. Because this is the last night. Creative miracles are going to happen here tonight. Things that will shock you, surprise you, amaze you will happen to you. Don't forget the choir's message, Jesus, I come, Jesus, I come. No matter your challenge, believe God. He has all the spare parts of your body with him. Even if any part is totally worn out, he cannot be less than the producers of our vehicles. He has the part to fix, remove the old one, fix a brand new part in your body. Believe God. Our counselors, please, let me know if you are true with those we are counseling, please, at the left-hand side, my left-hand side, which is your right-hand side, if you are true, can you please wave at me with your flag? If you are true, the leader in that row, please, can you raise your flag?
in the central area, please, if you are true with the counseling, please, could you? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. At the right-hand side of the audience, my own right-hand side, which is your left, if you are true, please, can you raise your flag? Wave it at me, please. Both in the front, at the middle, and at the rear, the far back. The left hand is true, the middle area is true. The right hand side, please let me know if you are true also that way. Just re wave your flag at me. Okay, in the front. At the back, please, can you raise your flag? If you are true. Thank you very much. Shall we all rise up on our feet? Please, counselors, remain with the brethren as we invite the pastor. Amen. Impartation upon your life. Yeah. And the imputation, this is for your account already. Christ provided healing for you. Yeah. Deliverance for you. Yeah. Miracle for you. Yeah. And when you hear the final amen, that the alert, check up, you've got it already. Yeah. You lay one hand where you have the challenge. Resolve the other hand. Your miracle is guaranteed. We're ready to pray now. Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for everyone, every brother, every sister, every man, every woman, young or old. I pray in partition of healing, in partition of deliverance impartation of miracle in every life right now in Jesus name from the top of your head to the tip of your toe the hand of the Lord is touching you right now the healing of the Lord is coming to you right now receive in Jesus name madness and sanity Demons, I command you there, come out in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, those dead nerves, and all the things, whatever, put a covering, a bandage on your eyes, you have not been seeing well. Receive your sight in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and those who are dumb, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Those deaf ears be opened and hear well in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loose and hear very well in Jesus' name. All the scratches in the body, all the disease of your skin, all the leprosy on your skin. The hand of the Lord cleanses you now, heals you now. And all the skin disease with leprosy, everything gone in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling on the neck, goiter, swelling in the legs, elephantiasis, swelling on the inside, tumor or fibroid, swelling any part of the body, Lord, in your love and mercy, and mercy touch them right now. Swelling, come out in Jesus' name. The pile be healed in Jesus' name problem of the appendix be healed in Jesus name also you are healed in Jesus name cancer 
you are healed in Jesus name blood clutching in your body and the heart is not able to freely send blood everywhere be healed in Jesus name HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus name sickle cell pain come out in Jesus name and those who have limitation standing up or sitting down or one leg shorter than the other or the bones are broken or maybe the bones are not even there miracle upon you now you rise up and walk in Jesus name and the Lord by spies strength is healing will raise you up from that wheelchair but take the crutches away from your hand and your feet and your legs and your bones and every part and some feet receive miracle healing in Jesus name those who are barren as we go back home conceive have your own miracle baby and next time when we come you come with that miracle baby I pray Lord those who are poor they are living from hand to mouth provision for them everyone everybody must receive something definite a great miracle a great deliverance a great healing thank you Lord thank you Lord it is done receive your own in Jesus name is there is there your God's the alert now check up yourself it's done already.